Okay, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest this evening is a Tony-nominated actor you know from the Book of Mormon, Hamilton, and HBO's Girls. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Andrew Rannells. Nice to see you again. I've missed you. I've missed you too. It's been a while. You, you were you were you were a creature of pure energy who is bright as a shiny new dime. It's what always the a delight hell? to talk to you. That's so nice. Yeah, Thank you, you always bring it. Well, I'm trying. No I'm pressure. Trying. No pressure. No pressure at all. It's gonna take a nap right now. Uh, you must be tired though, because I understand you've been traveling. I I have been doing some traveling. I made the gay pilgrimage to go see Patty Lapone and Company in London. <laughs> oh really? You get special indulgences for that? For well, having to go you see know, Patty yes? I was like, if I, what, I mean, I forced a friendship with her over the years. Well, you've worked with Patty. LuPone. I have worked with Patty. She's in she's, company. She is absolutely, uh, it just feels vaguely singed when you're next to her on stage because she's so powerful. I'm, yes, I, I'm, I've never worked with her, but I, I really did. Oh, really? I, I have. I've I know. With her on her on <laughs> I know. Uh, we have a photo of the, you guys here together. Who, tell me who, who all's in this. Well, this that's thing right here. me, and then that's my friend Sean Dooley, and uh, his boyfriend Alberto, and then there's Patty, and then there's my mom, Sally Field. <laughs> Wait a no, second. It's not my mom. It's what's just Sally the, Field. What's Sally Field doing in the Sally photo? Sally Field's hanging couple? out. No, she was. She's doing a show. She's doing All My Sons in London, and she was there, uh, and just happened to be there that same night. We had met during the Tony Awards a couple years ago because we were both nominated, so we were at, like, the same luncheons and things. Sure. Are yeah. you and Sally close now? Uh, yes. <laughs> In my mind, we're close. Your, your we're show pretty, is close? We're pretty tight. Yeah. I got that phone number. You got the digits from Hell Sally? Hell, yeah. Good. Yes. Good. This Steven, is, what do you... Th I mean... Uh, the relationship is getting kind of kind of serious now. you think I am. I'm not going to get that phone number. The, uh, you've got... Uh, this is exciting. Well, sadly unexpected. I don't know if you recall, but the last time I was here, I told you I was going to write a book. Yes. And I wrote it! <laughs> That's actually wrote, the ad campaign yeah. for the book, isn't it? I said I would do it, and, and I, I did, did it! it. And it's out today. Out today. It's called Too Much Is Not Enough. Yes. A, a, a memoir of fumbling toward adulthood. Yes. Now, you're still a young man. Why are you... Why, why a memoir? Well, you know what? This is a, this, these are essays specifically from sort of my childhood, and then I moved to New York in 1997, and I was cast in my first Broadway show, which was Hairspray, in 2005. Mm -hmm. So I just deal with that period of time, which is like, you know, if you're... Pre-famous, pre-famous. Pre-famous, sure, but you know, it was that was my that was my goal was to be on Broadway, right? That was my number one goal. So sure. I stopped the book at that point because when I was cast in Hairspray and I got to be on Broadway, like that was all I ever dreamed of was doing that. So what what what, what inspired you? Why did you why did you want to write a book about that? Well, because I feel like those are often the years that kind of get skipped over, right? Like your career, your uh, a lot of people think I was just like hatched out of an egg during the Book of Mormon, um, <laughs> but I was like, no, yeah. I was just like kicking around for a hell of a long time, um, and those are always that all gets skipped over. Tell me about the bias. suffering, because you got to suffer suffering? as an artist, right? So much suffering. It's a lot of suffering, mm -hmm. you know. And your early. Did you do the classic stuff? Did you like? Do you wait tables or did you? No, I was. Uh, uh, I was terrible at day jobs. I would work at like a, one place for like a night. That's not a good sign. No, I worked at a restaurant. Uh, I, I lived with my best friend Susanna up by Columbia, and there was a restaurant called Nacho Mamas. <laughs> and I worked there for one day. <laughs> I went and I trained, and they were like, oh, he's going to be fine. Like, I could be a host. That's fine. And then I just never went back. <laughs> All right. Now, your family, you also talk about your, 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 you have brothers and sisters? Yeah. Okay. Um, no. are yes. they, uh, I have three sisters and a brother. Are they okay with you telling, like, intimate family stories? Well. <laughs> have you they told okay? them? No, they all read it. They all read it. Um... Uh, I think they're okay. You know, I tried to make a very conscious effort when writing this that I wasn't going to tell anyone else's story. I'm not trying to be like the Rannells family spokesperson. I'm just telling my version of events. Who is the Rannells family spokesperson? <laughs> my mom. Sure. That sounds, my that mom. sounds right. Yeah. Um, Charlotte. Charlotte Rannells is. Uh, no, so I just, I tried to keep it as personal as possible rather than like speaking on behalf of my family because that gets tricky. Sure. You know what I mean? So they've read it and there's nothing in here that they don't mind being told. Well, I mean, I talk about having a lot of sex and stuff, so I don't think they probably want to hear about that. 
But it's now in here. they know. Does your mom? Does your? Did your mom? Did you give her a warning? Well, I, you know, I in the acknowledgments, I explain because I, 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 I shared all the family stuff with my sister Natalie first, and I was is this like, her? Uh, this sister? is Natalie. Oh. There you are. This is she was. This is Halloween in probably 1988, 87. I am the Pope. <laughs> And she was an angel. Sure. Because um, my grandma thought that would be a funny costume for me if I dressed up as John Paul II. Mm -hmm. So I did. I did. Catholic school, you know. Sure. You know how that goes. The acknowledgments are at the back of the book. Correct. And that's where you warn your mother there's a lot of sex talk in here? Because that seems a little bit <laughs> closing the door after Wh the cows have gotten Why out of the Why didn't barn. I send this to you sooner? Yeah, you should have. Damn you it. I just said if she had any follow up questions, she should ask my sister Natalie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> on the Showtime. Yeah. The CBS property. Yes. On Showtime, Showtime. you're on a show called Black Monday. I am. As yeah. a preppy Wharton grad named Blair. That's me, Blair. There's Blair during the 1987 yes. stock market crash. Yes. How are you enjoying the, uh, the 80s fashion? I really enjoy it, although you do, I don't know if you've ever felt this way uh, when you're acting and you get used to yourself in a, in a certain costume. Sure. I was wearing a lot of high-waisted pleated pants, and I was like, you know what? I look good. Um, so I like, promise you, there's no way you did. I know, I don't. But like, I was that age in the 80s, and I wore high-waisted pleated pants. Now, yeah. do you still have them? Uh, sure. Where? In my closet. <laughs> Would you like a pair? You know what, I have an idea. I want to come over to your house and help you clean out your closet. <laughs> oh, that would be a lot of fun. Right? That would be fun. We should do it in the closet piece. with Andy you and Steven. And we kind of. <laughs> Too much is not enough. It's available now. Andrew Randall's, everybody. We'll be right back with a performance by Robin.